So we are going to solve practice problem 4.4 from Sadiku. So the question is use superposition to find Vx. Vx is the voltage between this node and the ground in this circuit. And here is some hints. And because we are asked to use superposition, we need to turn off each independent source. Here we have three sources. Two is independent is and one is dependent. So this voltage source is independent this current source is independent and this current source is dependent current source so we need to turn off only the independent source and then we analyze a separate circuit so we turn off this and analyze at separate circuits turn off this and analyze a separate circuit and then we add up all the result Okay, so the first step, I want to turn off this current source first. Okay, now first I will need to turn off the 5 ampere current source. Okay, and turning off current source meaning that it is replaced by open circuit. Okay, I will redraw the circuit with current source replaced as open circuit. Okay, now I have drawn the circuit with this current source replaced with open circuit. And here we ask to find Vx. And Vx is here. Because this Vx is different from this, I name this Vx prime. And because this is Vx prime, this dependent current source is also became 0.1 Vx prime. So I will erase the Vx1. Okay. And now I'm going to do nodal analysis in node Vx prime. So this is 25 volt. So let's do KCL at node Vx prime. And I will assume the current of the circuit. This is going here, and this is going here, and this is going here. Okay, what does KCL say? KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The current that goes in is, there is two current that goes in, this current and this current. This one can be calculated using 25 minus Vx prime divided by the resistance between it. So 20, and this is the ground. And then this current is 0 0.1 Vx prime, so... We have 0 0.1 Vx prime or it is equal to Vx prime divided by 10. This and this is equal. And then that one is the current that goes out. Only one current that goes out. So and this current is equal to Vx prime divided by 4. So I can multiply both sides by 20. So I will have 25 minus Vx prime plus 2 Vx is equal to 5 Vx prime. Okay. Now I will move all of them to right hand side. So minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. Plus 1 and this is 5. So I will have... 25 is equal to 4 Vx prime and so Vx prime is equal to 6.25 Okay, now we need to save this. So we will have Vx prime is equal to 6.25 volt. This is our first result. And then the second step is we need to turn off this voltage 
shorts and turning off voltage shorts meaning that replacing this by short circuit okay this part is full so i will erase this okay let's do the first step but the part b okay let's turn off the voltage source so turn off the 25 voltage source and turning off voltage source meaning that it replaced with short circuit okay i will draw the circuit with the voltage source replaced by short circuit Okay, now I have replaced the voltage source here with a short circuit and we are asked to find this Vx so let's name this Vx double prime and because this is Vx double prime this current source also 0.1 Vx double prime so I'm going to do similar things with the previous current source turn off which is doing KCL at node Vx double prime so let's do KCL at node Vx double prime and KCL said the sum of the current that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out okay let's assume where the current goes okay I assume it's going here and it's going here it's going here and it's going there so i will have the current that goes in is from this current sources so the current that goes in is this 5 ampere plus the current from this dependent current source which is 0.1 vx or i can rewrite that as vx over 10 and then we have the current that goes on which is this current this is double prime okay and this current is vx double prime divided by 20 plus this current here that drew for ohm resistor which is vx double prime divided by 4 so now i can multiply both sides by 20 so i will have 100 is plus 2 vx double prime is equal to vx double prime plus this is 5 vx double prime okay let's continue the math so i will have 100 and i can move this 2 vx double prime to the right hand side and 1 plus 5 is 6 6 minus 2 is 4 so we'll have 4 vx double prime and so vx double prime is equal to 25 okay let's save that so we'll have vx double prime is equal to 25 4 okay so we already done number one and number two so the last thing we need to do is add up all the results so number two number three i mean number three so vx is vx prime plus vx double prime which is 6.25 plus 25 and so vx is okay let's use ping here just in just want to be consistent so vx is equal to 31.25 oh. and here is our final result so hopefully i did not make any mistakes in the calculation and thank you for watching